Hey everyone, I am so excited to be able to share my story with you all today. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Meg Kozlowski and I have been a coach for eight and a half years. In July, it'll actually be nine, so I guess it's a little bit longer than eight and a half years. But when I signed up as a coach, you guys, I was still on my health and fitness journey. Um, I had just graduated with my degree in nutrition and I didn't get into a dietetic internship even though I applied and I had I parted a little too hard in college, even though I went to school for nutrition, and I had about 30 pounds to lose. I also have thyroid issues, so it's a little harder for me to lose weight, and I was doing everything wrong in order to lose that weight. So when coaching was brought up to me, to me by my amazing coach, I did not see myself being a good coach because I was still on my health and fitness journey. And that's something that I think a lot of people are scared of. You know, they're like, I I'm still on my journey. How can I help people with their health and fitness when I'm still on my journey? And I want to help you guys know or reassure you that I'm still on my health and fitness journey eight and a half years into coaching. You know, we go through seasons of life, whether we um, get pregnant and have babies or have miscarriages or, you know, have times where we're just going through some tough stuff, um, health issues wise, that we have to continue on with our journey. And so for me, I was terrified. I didn't think like I could help people because I was still on my journey. As coaches, we're all through our, we're still going on our journeys, okay? I also didn't have any confidence in myself. The girl that you guys see eight and a half, well, almost nine years later, is a completely different person because of coaching, you guys. Because when I first signed up, I was dating, I call him the loser boy, who really belittled me, you know, verbally abused me to the point where I didn't believe in myself. I also didn't get into my dietetic internship where I thought I was going to go on and be a registered dietitian. So I was just really down in the dumps and I needed something positive, you guys. I also wanted somewhere I fit in, you know, and I was talking to my coach and getting to know my coach and seeing her coaches and what they were doing, I realized those were people I wanted to surround myself with because the people I was surrounding myself with were going out and drinking on the weekends or maybe not making the best uh, health uh, decisions. And so for me, on my health and fitness journey, I wanted to be able to um, handle that. I wanted to be able to be surrounded by people who were also on their journey. Um, and so for me, that was a big part of it, you guys. I wanted to desperately fit in somewhere. I also had a dream that, you know, it was possible to have a nine to five, well, not even a nine to five, um, to have a career that you love. I grew up watching two parents work very, very hard. And my mom had a little more flexibility because she owned her own business, but she still was working really hard and really long hours. And, you know, in my head, I knew there's got to be a way to do something that I really love that gives me flexibility, flexibility and freedom, but still allows me to hustle because that's the kind of personality that I have. I like to work hard. I like to hustle for something I believe in. And I, you know, had a lot of hesitations before I signed up as a coach. I didn't want to push products. I think that's a lot of people's fears where we say, you know, we might have some friends on social media that are just plastering their products from other companies all over their pages. And you're thinking, nope, if that's what an MLM does, I don't want to be a part of it. That was a big fear of mine, you guys. I was like, I don't want to be that salesy person. I don't want to push my family and friends away. And so I'm not going to do this. And then I also didn't want to give up my entire life to be successful. I have a very, I'm laser focused, but I also need breaks throughout my day or I'm going to go crazy. That's why the nine to five didn't work for me because I would zone out. You know, I couldn't stay focused for the whole nine to five time. Um, and so I knew that I didn't want to give up my entire life and just be a slave to a nine to five that was building someone else's dreams. I also am not the most social person. I can be very social on video. I can be very social social on the internet, but when it's face to face, I'm really not the most outgoing person. Thank God my husband is and he sparks up the conversation, but I'm kind of socially awkward when it comes to first meeting people, you guys. And so for me to spark up a conversation with a complete stranger, I was terrified that I wouldn't be able to be successful unless I could do that, okay? I also had that fear of the pyramid scheme. I had a lot of people around me saying, hmm, that's a pyramid scheme, Meg, that's a pyramid scheme. Only the people at the top are gonna do well. So let me overcome how I went over those, or how I got out of those objections, you guys, because I think those are a lot of the objections that a lot of people have, okay? So the first one, pushing products, you guys. 
once I signed up as a coach, not once has my coach told me to push products on my family members or friends. She taught me how to share my journey on social media, just openly and honestly, you guys. And when people are supporting you and commenting on your posts and liking on your posts and asking you what you're doing, then you can share it with them. You never have to go out and like cold invite people, okay? That's what they kind of call it in this type of world. The other part of that, you guys, is that pushy coaches don't do well in this business. I'm really not a very pushy person, and so I was fearful that I wasn't going to be able to do well because I'm like, I'm not a pushy person. I never want to make someone feel uncomfortable, and the coaches who do that, the people at other companies that do that, don't end up doing very well. Okay. Okay. The other part was giving up my entire life. You guys, when I first started out as a coach, I didn't have all day to work my business just like you. And I was working a full-time job. I was also working as an assistant um, to my upline coach. I was also going to school for my master's in public health nutrition. I was trying to push off those student loans that were coming at me. And so I went back for my master's. Oh, but anyways, I, uh, I didn't want to give up my entire life, you guys. So I had like one to three hours per day that I could put into my business and they were power pockets. You know, I would wake up early before I went into work and got some work done at lunchtime. I would sit down and it's not the healthiest thing, but I'd sit down with my lunch and work over my computer. Okay. And then at nighttime I would do a little more work. Okay. So they were throughout the day, not just one chunk of time. Okay. And then after I quit my job in 2012, so I signed up as a coach in 2009. I didn't actually technically start working it until uh, 2011. Okay. And that's a whole nother story in itself. Just basically me holding myself back and fearful. Okay. But when I started working it in 2011, it took me a year and a half, you guys, of hustling to be able to work, walk away from my first full-time job. Okay. So when I quit that job in 2012, I bumped my work hours because it was my full-time job and I had a nice sized team at that point and I wanted to make sure I was helping my team like I still do and my clients as best as I could. Five to six hours a day, you guys. Five to six hours out of a 24 hour time frame, I would sit down and work. And like I said before, my attention span is pretty, pretty small. So I would work an hour and then I would go and work out. And then I would work an hour or two and then I would go read a book or I'd go for a walk or I'd do something so that by the end of the day, it was six hours, but it was spread out throughout the day, okay? And even now, you guys, with having a almost two and a half year old and a husband, I am able to do six hours a day, whether I want to do it in the morning or like today, you know, I haven't worked yet. This is the first thing I've done for work besides my workout because we had gymnastics for Tenley. We slept in. My husband and I were able to work out together. And now I'll sit down and do six hours while it rains outside. And then when it clears up, we'll be able to go take a walk. Okay. So you have that flexibility, guys. You don't have to give up your entire life. Okay. The other part of that is that when you want to travel, everything is virtual, you guys. So in uh, March, my husband and I, after suffering our first miscarriage, we were like, you know what? We're going to go meet your parent, my parents, in Florida longer than we had planned. We were only going to go for four days, and we're like, let's turn it into a week. Well, I still wanted to work. I still wanted to help my team. So I took my computer with me and I was able to check in while my daughter was napping and not miss any of the fun stuff of vacation, you guys. I think that's really important, okay? And our team ended up doing very well in, in uh, March, okay? The other part of that, you guys, is not being social. You know, I talked about the fact that I'm not a very social person. I really am not. I'm very introverted. I rarely leave my house. I've gotten better, but I rarely leave my house. The internet is my stomping grounds, okay? So when I first started building my business, I realized, oh my gosh, I can be very outgoing behind a computer screen. I'm able to get more comfortable by building these relationships with people. And seeing that they were supporting me was making me even more confident that we could take that relationship to the next level, whether they wanted to turn into a client or turn them into a coach or just be a follower, okay? It gave me that confidence. I also have become way more confident. You know, we just went to a gymnastics class with complete strangers and I was really proud of myself for sparking up some conversations with these moms. That's not normally my thing. Still not the most social person, but through this, this business, I've learned to kind of be a little more outgoing, okay? Now, the last part, you guys, of that that I brought up was the pyramid scheme, okay? People like to throw this word around, and they don't actually technically know what a pyramid scheme is. Pyramid scheme, you guys, 
they're legal. They are illegal, okay? It means the person at the top is making the most money. And I can tell you, there are people in this business who signed up before me and I'm crushing them. You know, we're, our, t- our team is killing them. We're making so much more money, okay? Then there's also people on the other flip side that signed up after me, years after me, guys. And because they're hustling harder than I am, they're making way more money than me, okay? So that's the first thing about pyramid schemes. The other thing, you guys, is like I said, it's illegal. Beach Potty's been around for over 11 years. And so if they were a pyramid scheme, they would have already been shut down, okay? So you can take away that fear. If you're still hesitant and you're like, mm, I don't know, you know, that pyramid, look up what pyramid scheme means, you guys, and you're going to realize this is not it. Every single company, every single business, everything is set up like a pyramid, okay, where there is someone at the top, but it's technically a pyramid scheme if only the person at the top is making money, and that's not true in this case, okay? So what do we do as coaches, you guys? I get a lot of questions about this, you know, what what type of things do you do to be successful as a coach? And when coaches keep it simple and they don't overcomplicate it, this is what we do, okay? The first thing is we share our journeys, you guys. We are still on our journeys. Like I said at the beginning of the call, when you're on your journey, like you should never stop your journey, right? I've been a coach for almost nine years and I have continued on my journey, okay, with losing those 30 pounds, with breaking my wrist and continuing on my fitness journey and showing people what was possible through a whole year of health issues with adrenal fatigue and hypothyroidism and candida and all this stuff. I still continued on my journey with getting pregnant with my beautiful daughter and being able to show a healthy pregnancy and then show them my postpartum journey with suffering two miscarriages, okay, just this year. I've been able to continue and show people, hey, it's all about the journey, just doing my workouts, drinking my Shakeology, and making sure that I'm sticking to my nutrition, okay? And hopefully you've all seen, we have a whole new nutrition thing that has launched. If portions are not your thing and you're like, I don't wanna have to portion out my food, you gotta check out 2B Mindset because it gives you that flexibility and freedom and control back. Okay. Um, The other part of that, you guys, is like the second thing that we do is personal development, you guys. Personal development, I don't know what I would, where I would be without personal development, especially with everything that we've been through over the last couple of years, you guys. Uh, I've seen these kind of things break people. And for me, I knew as a coach, I had to get back to feeling good about myself inside and out. So I was able to turn to personal development. Personal development is reading or listening to something that makes you feel good and improves you as a coach. We'll have a whole list of videos or whole list of books that you can either listen to on Audible or get the hard copy. I like a mixture of both when I'm getting ready. I like to be listening to something that's positive and uplifting uh, that I just put on my phone through Audible or through podcast app or have a hard copy book where I can just sit down, read the book, highlight some things that stand out to me, and then go on my day, okay? And we have people do about 10 or more minutes per day, okay, this personal development. And this business, like anything else, it's built between the ears, you guys. I see too many people stop themselves from succeeding because of you know past failures or past beliefs or people telling them they couldn't succeed. But if you're doing personal development, you're controlling your mindset to know that you can accomplish whatever you want in this business, you guys. If I've been able to be successful, you can be successful, okay? It's all about controlling this and putting the action in. The third thing, you guys, is inviting, and that's a scary part for a lot of coaches, okay? And I wanna reassure you that we don't do it in the salesy way, okay? We will never have you push your family, okay, to buy products or sign up as a coach or anything like that. You're in control of everything, okay? And it's all about the people who are supporting you. So we invite to two different things, you guys. Challenge groups, which are virtual boot camps that you can run through our really cool app that our uh, our company created. I run my groups through that. Or coaching, okay? So you have challenge groups and coaching. And from the beginning, you guys, that's scary for coaches. We will teach you how to do it naturally without pushing people, okay? We will also help you get your group started. For me personally, when my coaches sign up, I let them jump in my challenge groups to be a challenger because they have to be on their own journey and have that support, as well as add people in who sign up with them for the first couple months until they feel comfortable enough to do their own groups. Some of my coaches stay in for one month and then they're like, all right, I'm ready to do my own. Others, six or seven. It's totally your choice. 
and the other side of that with coaching. Okay, we'll teach you how to how to invite people to coaching, but we do calls just like the one that you're listening to that you can invite them to. Okay, they can listen in live or we record everything so they can listen later on. Okay, the last thing you guys is something that coaches as a brand new coach don't have to do until they start building a list of clients as well as a team. But I think it's one of the most important parts and it's recognition. Okay. It feels good to have someone toot your own horn, right? Like I, I love being recognized when I'm succeeding at something, you know, even when my husband tells me a good job, I'm like on a high horse. That's just my love language. Okay. Um, I like words of affirmation. So one of the parts that they realized with coaching is that people like to be you know, seen for what they're doing and, and rewarded and have their name set and that sort of things. So as brand new coaches, we teach you guys, okay, when you have your first client and you help them lose their first couple pounds, shout them up out as long as they are comfortable with that, okay? When you start having a team and you see them make their first hundred dollars or they're able to help three people get started on their health and fitness journey or they're able to, you know, make their first five hundred dollars or hit the first rank of Emerald, you get shout outs. OK. And like I said, it feels good to have your horn to it. OK. OK. So with coaching, you guys, you get support on your own fitness journey. OK. For me. I don't know. Like, I don't know where I would be without this support, you guys, just through everything I've been through. You know, I know as a coach, I can't go off the deep end with my health and fitness journey no matter what because it's my job. Okay, so it holds me accountable because I know people are watching me. You know, going through everything that we've been through over the last year, the last five months of two miscarriages, I'll be honest, you guys, there were days where I wanted to crawl into a hole and not even get out of bed. But I knew that it was my job and my obligation to my team and to my clients and to my followers to continue to move forward on my journey, even on those days that I didn't want to, okay? So it gives you that support on your own fitness journey, and I think it's helped me heal mentally, physically, emotionally so much faster than I would have if I didn't have that. The other part is community, guys, and a place where you belong. Gosh, there's so much negative negativity around the world, right? If you scroll through your Facebook, luckily mine's full of coaches now, but I remember, you know, and even looking at my husband sometimes, I'm like, why is that person posting that? That's just negative. If you bring negativity into the world, you're going to make more people negative. With the, hope, the coaching community, you'll realize we are really supportive people. You know, people ask me all the time, are you really that supportive and that, that, um, that positive all the time? And I'm like, yeah, because I surround people or surround myself with those kind of people. Okay, so you're going to have people supporting you. Okay, I've had people who have gone through divorces, miscarriages, um, you know, marriage, like positive things, all that kind of stuff through life, you guys, um, deaths, and the, the coaching community has pulled together and supported each other. It's a, it really is a family. Um, a way to earn income, you guys, is something that you love. You know, I love knowing that. Because of my hard work and hustle, my husband can be home with our daughter. He still works because he loves it, you guys. He works two days a week um, as a physical therapist, and I'm super proud of him. Would never ask him ever to give up his job. Plus, he'd probably go crazy being home. But I love that I was able to control that, you know, and say, okay, because of how hard I worked, he can have that freedom and that choice. Uh, so you are able to control your income with something that you love doing, okay? And the other part of that is that you have a chance to help people get healthy without quick fixes. <sighs> There's so many quick fixes out there, you guys, that I just have to roll my eyes at because it's like, not going to work down the road. You have no idea what your body's going to be doing at that point. Why are you doing that? And I get it, you guys. I've done the quick fixes before I found coaching, okay? But through being a coach, I've been able to look objectively at other things and understand, you know what? The best way to get healthy is to eat healthy and work out, okay? There's no way around it, you guys. That is how to keep long-lasting results, okay? So... Um, so what has coaching done for me, you guys? <sighs> I can't even like, I'm going to try not to cry because it's really powerful what coaching has done for me, you guys. My husband and I the other day were adding up everything that we've paid off with coaching and it's helped us pay off over, uh, hopefully I don't murder this because I'm not good with numbers, but six 
$130,000. Is that right? <laughs> a lot of money, you guys. A lot of money. 630, okay. There we go. That's better. Um, but really, we've been able to do that between our mortgage on our old home that we moved out of a year and a half ago, uh, the new house that, our dream house that we live in now that we're currently paying off. Um, we've been able to pay off both my master's degree student loans um, and my undergrad as well as Kirk's undergrad and his doctorate in physical therapy. Um, we just recently paid that off in March. That was really powerful to be able to just do that. Uh, we've also been able to pay off both of our cars. And like I said, we're working towards being able to pay off the house that we just built. Um, it's also given me, you guys, the, the most purpose that I've ever had, okay? I, I talk to a lot of people who just feel like they don't have purpose, you know, and they feel like they're just going to a nine to five and they're just kind of in that just motion, right? People who are really close to me and it's like, you have control. You have control if you can just trust the person who invited you onto this and are willing to work hard. Okay, and I've always loved helping people. That's just a part of me that I, I, it's just part of me. I love helping people and I love seeing them succeed. Um, but I've able, been able to take that into this job along with health and fitness. I've always been fascinated, not just because I have the degree in it, but I've always been fascinated with just working out and eating healthy and learning how the body works. And I know there's a lot of people out there that have a hobby of being healthy, okay, of working out every single day, of eating healthy, of trying to be the best version of themselves. And they don't realize that they would make a good coach by just having those parts of them, okay? Um, and we will help you. Don't worry. We will help you. The other part of that, you guys, is that um, I have the flexibility and freedom. Okay, like I said, I'm not very good with the nine to five. I remember when I had my full time job and I would sit there and just twiddle my thumbs. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> you know, like, I don't really want to do anything because I don't feel passionate about this. Don't ask me to do something, but I'm really freaking bored. I don't do well just sitting. You know, like I, I just, the time goes by so slow. I wanted something that I felt passionate about. And so with this business, I am able, like I said before, to go on vacation and travel whenever I want because I'm my own boss. Okay. When my, <laughs> it has been a rough year, when my daughter came down with the flu or she had this random rash or she broke her arm in February, I was able to take time off and be a present mom with her, okay? When we went through our two miscarriages and I could barely pull myself together, I was able to take time off with my, my business, you guys, and our team supported me. I only took, you know, a couple days off, but still, we had our highest check ever during those weeks, you guys, okay? Because of the hustle I had put in the months, the years before, okay? You have that flexibility and freedom if you decide to become a coach, okay? I also have support on my own journey. I've said that so many times, you guys, but I think that that's a big part of it, okay? Having access to my virtual groups who, yes, I'm running them, but I'm participating because I need it just as much as my clients do, okay? So I'm getting the support and accountability too. Um, I'm able to have access of a wide variety of fitness programs, you guys, from yoga, to like a country dancing program, to a program where you're lifting heavy and, and toning your abs and your booty, okay? There's so many different types of workouts we have through Beach Body On Demand as a coach that you just keep going through the programs, okay? For instance, I'm just about to finish 21 Day Fix, and now I'm going to dive into our new nutrition-focused program called To Be Mindset. You can just keep going through the different ones, okay? Um... And then when I started this business, you guys, I want to make sure you guys hear this, okay? I wasn't making anything. I was not one of those coaches that took off from the beginning, okay? Like I said at the beginning, I didn't technically start working my business until two years after I got into the business, you guys, because of fear. And I didn't make my first check until seven months into the, the business, you guys. And guess what? It was my mom. It was my mom who bought Shakeology from me. Seven months, I made my first $50 check. Okay, so I want to make sure you guys know that even if you don't take off hard from the beginning, okay, a lot of people are like, I don't have a lot of people sign up. That's okay. You can still succeed in this business, okay? At this point, you guys, my husband and I were looking at it yesterday because even though I started slower, this point, nine years into the business almost, we've made over three and a half million dollars, you guys, through this business, okay? 
And like I said, even paying off all that debt, that debt, three and a half million dollars, you guys, doing something that I love. Um, we average about $14,000 to $16,000 a week. Also have our um, bonuses that you guys would have access to as well as you build a team. That's a whole nother story. Um, but yes, Speechbody does not guarantee any kind of income unless you're going to hustle for it. And I was willing to hustle for it, you guys, because I knew that it would be worth it. Okay, and I'm still hustling, even at the point where we're making this money, not to be able to make more, because I love this freaking job. I love this job, I love my team, I love my clients, I love what I do. How many people can say that, okay? Um, the other part of that, you guys, is that the sky is the limit. You know, I know there's so many women who are feeling passionless, that are feeling stuck, who are feeling whatever, and they're looking for something to just get them excited again and to get them, you know, refocused on their journey or to whatever, pay off debt and help their family get out of whatever situation they're in. You guys, with this business, the sky is the limit if you're willing to work for it. Okay, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. Um, yes, you're going to have to sacrifice, you guys. I've had to sacrifice a lot of social time. Okay, yeah, I'm not. I was like, whatever, I'll stay home because I'm an introvert. But still. I've had to give up maybe going out for drinks with my girlfriends on the weekends until I was starting to see some income, okay? I have to get up earlier some days, okay? And I did when I first was getting this business going. Um, it's not going to be forever now. Like today, I slept until 7, okay? But when I was starting my business, I would wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning to get a couple hours in before I went to work. You might have to sacrifice um, some TV time at nighttime instead of sitting down and watching TV, you're working, okay? It doesn't have to be every night, okay? You can say like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you're gonna do that, and then Tuesday, Thursday is off, or vice versa. Um, after the kids go to bed, okay? You don't have to sacrifice bedtime. You don't have to sacrifice dinner time. You get to figure out what things are your main priorities and what things you're willing to sacrifice so that in the long term, your business can be where you want it to be, okay? And just trust that the coach who invited you saw something in you, okay? We don't invite everyone. That's the thing. You know, you see these multi-level marketing companies where they go out and they just blast everyone. That's not what we do with coaching, okay? If you're watching this, it's because someone saw something in you and thinks that you would be a good coach, okay? So be excited about that. That, that gives you an opportunity to change your life. Not only your life, but your family's, okay? So if this opportunity is something that you want, if it's something that you want to look into further, reach out to the person who invited you onto this and just ask your questions. Let them know what your hesitations are, what your objections are, so that they can talk to you about what they've gone through, okay, and what they've had this business do for them. Because this is just my story, and there are so many different success stories, you guys, especially you know, on our team, which is really exciting. And they'll also be able to give you the sign up steps. I'm not going to go over it on this call because it's easier to just see that stuff in writing. And I know for me, you know, back in 2009, we didn't have the challenge pack option, you guys. We had Shakeology and you could buy a DVD and they were not together. And I spent a lot of money when I first signed up. I want to say it was like, you know, Shakeology and the workout program. I got Shaleen Extreme. It was like over 300 bucks, you guys. Now to be able to get access to all of the workouts from Beachbody and Shakeology for $160 and start a business, seriously, yeah, you should probably do that. And if you've bought a challenge back in the past, the sign-up fee would automatically be waived. Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for hopping on. Um, I'll make sure that I get this recording up to the team, and I hope you guys have a fabulous Thursday. Bye, guys.